Good morning, Cedar Grove. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more day. And we just want to give thanks to God for bringing us here safely. And if we have any uh, good morning uh, to Cedar Grove members, family, friends, and we just want to give God the praise that he so deserved for giving us one more day to walk with him, one more day to talk to him, one more to day to live the praise to tell him how much we love him, thank him and adore him because he has been so merciful to us and we just want to give him the praise that he so deserves and we just want to thank you Jesus, thank you for last night, thank you for waking us up in our right mind Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing us to have a roof over our head, food on the table, transportation, thank you for your goodness, your grace and your mercy, you've been so good to us Lord and we just here to give you thanks one more day to praise you, one more day to
that we don't often use, but it has been used, is the power of recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a governor up here named Gray Davis just not too long ago. Amen. That when he did not hold fast to his policies, yeah. the state had a recall and got him out. Amen. Now we traded him for the Terminator, but I mean, <laughs> it, at least we had used our power to do and to remove. We just had even not that long ago. James Hahn, mm -hmm. who was the son of Kenneth Hahn. Yeah. But just because you're the son or a relative of somebody doesn't mean that you have the same middle scope and right. agenda. Right. 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 And I know we're recording because it's already out there, but this man was buying off preachers. Right. Gave a lot of them $25,000 to help push his agenda. Right and several other preachers that did have integrity mm. told them that they All wasn't right. going to do that and All went right. brought his 25000 back. Amen, right. amen. And recalled him and got him out of office. Right. So we do have yeah. Yeah. power, but we don't use it. Amen. So we've got, we've got to take the time to utilize the resources we have accessible and available to us so that we can make quality decisions because our lives and the lives of the children behind us are counting on it and yeah. they're going to look up to us and say what why didn't you stop it amen amen why didn't you stop it i want to thank those that were able to be here on yesterday for the town hall uh, meeting with the los angeles district attorney candidate rachel rossi it was very well received it's been going all over Thank you, Cedar Grove. Appreciate you. Uh, I don't want to call names, but I do have to thank uh, Brother Mike for coming all the way down in such short notice. Put this stuff up and, put it, and, and, and sending it out on all these multimedia platforms and people uh, hitting and calling and talking about it. Uh, so thank you so much for your time and expertise. I appreciate you. And for those that were here to help serve, uh, you know, uh, it was it was just good to see uh, people. When you tell them about the church, and they kind of brush it off, and then they want to say we didn't know nothing about it. I've been telling them about it since last year. They just had to come and see for themselves, uh, other than the uh, yard sale. Amen. We saw uh, Mother Wilson and, and Shannon and, and those that were in the kitchen working. Uh, uh, Mother Wilson got a new daughter that she didn't even know she had. Uh, so it was very good, very well attended. Uh, your vote is your vote. I'm just stressing and expressing who my vote is for because uh, we need change and we need somebody that right. is not part of the same old system. Yes, amen, amen. See, a lot of the people that we put in are part of the same system that got us messed up. That's right, that's right. From that, y'all yeah, uh, may have forgotten, but there was a DA by the name of Garcetti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who just happened to be the father of the mayor. Yeah. As it says, the fruit don't fall far from the tree. So if it's in the root, it's going to be in the fruit. So uh, be careful. Uh, voting is critical. March the 3rd, we'll be voting and make sure that you vote. First of all, make sure you register. I'm not going to ask you this Sunday. I'm going to ask you next Sunday to give you a chance if, they, if you haven't, you can go online, you can go to the post office, you can get uh, uh, your uh, registration form, get it in before the 28th, Amen. so that you can vote on the 3rd. So next Sunday's quiz is going to be who and how many are registered. Amen. 
the Lord. I can't have no church that's not registered because people are going to be looking at me asking, well, is your church registered? Amen. So I want to be able to stand up and say, yes, we are all registered voters. All right, all right. Yes. So, uh, 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 and they made voting accessible now that you don't have to vote at a certain precinct. You can vote ahead of time by mail, or you can go to any precinct within your area, or if you work downtown, there's a place downtown, they have voting places you go. Whatever you have to do, vote, because it's going to be important for coming November. We Amen. have got Amen. to get Amen. that dude out of the place. We, we got to do it, and we have to do it like Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. Amen. Amen. All right, choir.
maybe I'm the only one. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all ain't been there. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm let's, 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 let's walk down the scripture right, right quick. Matthew chapter 11, verse 1 through 3, it says, Now it came to pass when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. And when John heard in prison, yep, in prison. thank you, <laughs> ain't a place where you think John should be. Being the cousin, forerunner of Jesus, but he's in prison. He heard in prison about the works of Christ. He sent two of his disciples. Now, Jesus sent his 12. John is down to two. Because some of the disciples that were with John left and went with Jesus, but then there were those that left John because John was in prison. There will be people yeah. that are with you as long as you're free. But when you get bound and you get locked away, they will go away. When he heard, he sent two of his disciples. Now, 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 this is John. That when Jesus came, <coughs> said, Behold, the Lamb of God yeah. that taketh away the sins of the world. This is the same John. This ain't, no, this ain't the, the John beloved. This is John the Baptist. That when he saw him walking down to the Jordan, said, Here he is. Y'all, this is the one. But look at what he says in verse 3. He said to him, Are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? Here is John the Baptist. That is Jesus' first cousin. That declared he's the one that's taking away the sins of the world. All right, all right. But John is in prison. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. And his focus and his scope has now totally changed because he's not seeing Jesus doing what he thinks Jesus should do. Yes, sir. Oh, come on now. Y'all have been there. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. I got to talk just a few minutes. There are times when we look for Jesus to do stuff and he don't do it and we get frustrated. Uh, y'all can sit up here and act like you're Alice in Wonderland. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. There are things that will transpire in your life that you have done all you know to do to walk and talk and be with Jesus and something goes totally left and you say wait just a minute where is Jesus now why am I in this when I thought that I have crossed every T and dotted every I and put a period behind every sentence, but yeah. now I see myself in this. Yeah. Yeah. There is a thing called human emotion that all of us have. Just because we say it, it don't leave us. Lord, now uh, you said, Amen. and I did what you said to do. That's right. And 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 and, and for the the younger generation, what's up with that? <laughs> for those of us that are a little older, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> 
emotion. <laughs> see, 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 that's a human emotion right there. Y'all have to think about it. Y'all have had a what's up with this moment. Come on now. Talk to me. You have been in a situation that you... Yeah, 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 yeah. I am a child of God. What's up with this? Yeah. And not only that, where did this come from? Yeah. And who are you that brought it to me? I don't even know. Yeah. What are you even doing here? What is up with yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. you, 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 you know, you... You 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 would think that after you totally made up your mind mm -hmm. and submitted to the will of God yes. that there would not be huh. <laughs> well I just got through singing. Yes, yes. First of all, there's trouble. Yes, yes. But then Job said, man is born of a woman is of a few days and yes. full of yes. oh, trouble. Yes. Anybody, anybody have anybody have been doing uh, trying to do God's will and you got disappointed because the outcome didn't come out the way you thought it was yeah. going to come? Yeah. 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 I, I ought to have somebody that I mean, even if you can't say it, man, you can say, "Ouch!" I know yeah. that I have been disappointed <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. by some yeah. folk that I thought yeah. I could depend on. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's just, you know, uh, you, I thought I could depend on you, yeah. but I couldn't depend on nobody, nobody yeah. else but you. Yeah. yeah, man. Right there. But Jesus had a you moment, too. Yeah. 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 With his supposed to be homie. Yeah. You know, yeah. the one that said when, uh, uh, Jesus was in the upper room and said, this night, yeah. uh, uh, the Son of Man will be betrayed and the sheep yeah. will all so scattered. And Peter leaned over and said, oh, not me. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I know I, you're not talking to me because, you know, the other guy is in there, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just using my spiritual imagination and conversation because I know how folk talk, yeah. you know. When, when you're trying to be on the inside of the inside, you want to downgrade and low grade everybody else because yeah, you want to yeah. feel that you're more important. You yeah. know, the conversation with something like this. Now, Jesus, you know how the mother guys are. They just yeah. hanging on and hanging around. You know, but me, you know, I'm, 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 I'm your ace boon. I'm with you 100. You ain't got to worry. I know other dudes, man. I, I, you know, I ain't like them no way. I knew somebody in here was gonna start tripping on us. So, you know, but you know, it ain't me. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, it, it ain't me. You know, I, 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 you know, all, all them other guys, man. You know, first sign of trouble, they go, they go roll up out of here. But you know, me, I'll go to prison with you. And yeah, I'm taking one for the team because yeah. I know that they don't have the capabilities yeah. of doing like me. Yeah. 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 It's right. easy to talk smack when you ain't in trouble. That's right. That's right. You can say a whole lot of things until you get That's face to face and confronted with the situation right. because when they came and got Jesus, you know, all of them, uh, all of them left, you know, left. except for Peter, you know, Peter gonna try to prove, you know, he's, you know, I, 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 you know, hey, I'm a real G when it comes down to these, you know, I'll, I'll squabble with the best of them, you know, so when the Roman soldiers came, he went, he, he pulled his knife out and cut off a man, told Jesus, while having a conversation, if I was wrong, so I probably would have left because this just would have been a little too much for me. While Jesus is conversing with Peter, telling him, "No, nah, man, this is how this goes down." He picks up the man's ear and puts it on him, and still have a dialogue. Now, if I was the man that just had my ear cut off, and the man is talking to somebody else, but picks up my ear and puts it back on my head, I, I would have took. 
in here. It's yeah, dark. Yeah, the only thing yeah. that the light is showing is from the fire that's lit. Right. And somebody, even when you try to duck and hide in the crowd, mm -hmm. somebody always finds a way to pick you out. Yeah, and you wonder how they pick you out because there's a, you don't even see it, but there's a mark on you. Yeah, yeah. God has a mark on you. All right, all right. And you'd be surprised who's watching that's you right. at every situation that's you right. go through. Right. How do you handle it? Yes. Peter didn't handle it too good. Mm. He stood over in the back, warming himself by the fire, mm. Mm. trying to figure out what they're doing with Jesus. You yeah. know, yeah. folk, they want to be in, but this ain't the end they want to be in yeah. because this end don't look good. It, it's not the glamorous end that he had been accustomed to. Right, right. See, sometimes God will change your dynamics just yeah. to see how you handle it. Amen. It's not going to always be glorious That's and right. everybody's going to be singing your praises. There's going to be right. some time when people are going to try to uh, uh, low grade you yeah. and they're going to try to talk about you and yeah. they're going to lie on you and they're going to create situations that ain't even got nothing to do with you to see how you're going to handle it. And Peter's standing there by the fireside looking at the situation and yeah. somebody said, hey, you look like one of them that was with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, didn't you roll with this guy? You know? And Peter said, no. Not me. I don't, I don't, I don't know who the man what, what's, what? Not me. I don't know him. You know, I'm Peter. I, I fish. I don't do none of that stuff. <laughs> Yeah. I got some nets I can sell you, but you know all this other stuff. You know, breaking up bread and feeding folk. As a matter of fact, I was the one that supplied the fish. You know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know nothing about all this what you're talking about. You know, and, and while he's denying, he's moving. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's getting hot. Sometimes God puts you in a spot that's hot, and you got to. You got to come clean, and you know. So rather than come clean, you move yeah, to another yeah. location like that's gonna change something. Yeah. 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 He moved away, and he's over there still looking. Now, if he really wanted to get away, he would have got away, yeah. like leave. But he still, you know, trying to, you know, peep and find out what's right. happening right. because you know there's something on the inside of him mm. yeah. that's staying connected to Jesus, even though. Jesus had told him, Peter, man, chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Man, before the cock crows twice, you go deny me three times. Ah, nah. No, not me. No, that's not me. And and he went away, and there's sometimes when you want to be disassociated. Mm -hmm. Because of negativity that is happening, yeah. whether it's in your personal life, your family yeah. life, yeah. or even in the church, you will do things out of character. Amen. Amen. That are and is not 
you. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible said that when somebody said, yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. I see you. Mm -hmm. I know that you was with this man, Jesus. Then, then he went back to his previous nature. Mm -hmm. His previous nature, Peter, was a tough guy. He was a rough guy. <clears throat> So what does he do? He goes back, I'm going to prove to you that I don't know this man, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Bible said he started cussing and swearing. Mm -hmm. That old nature that you thought yeah. was gone. Yes, sir. Yeah. That old person yes, that you think you got so saved yeah. and you got it so there are situations and there are people that will push that one button. Yes, Lord. Yes. Had a now. It could be your family member that has the ability to know that one button to push and cause you to come out of who you thought you were. Yes. Yes. She know my button. The Bible said Peter cussed. Yes. And he starts swearing yes. like that was going to change something. Yes. <laughs> Cops start crowing and he start crying. <laughs> and he left broken hearted because that which he thought he could do, yes. he was unable to do because there's times when pressure yes, comes yes. and it will not yes. allow you to be who you thought That's you right. were. Amen. Amen. That's right. So I'm trying to talk to you today so, so you understand you're not the only one that falters under pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frustration yes. caused Moses yeah, to only see right. the promised land but not go in because yeah. the people yeah. got on his nerves. Amen, amen. Gideon hid in the wine presses, because of the condition of the people, he had seen his family slaughtered. And he became frustrated. And the angel of the Lord came and asked him, told him, he said, Gideon, you're a mighty man of valor. The Lord has need of thee. And Gideon looked and said, a mighty man of valor. The angel, ain't you seen What's going on in my life? I just seen my whole family killed, and you tell me I'm a mighty man of valor, and I'm high. Elijah was a bad dude. Amen. He went into King Ahab's courts and told him, pointed his finger in his face, and said, "It ain't gonna rain for three and a half years." All right, all right. After the time period was over. They had a meeting on a place called Mount Carmel. Like that. And Gideon, I mean, <laughs> Elijah saw fire come down from heaven. Like that. They had made an altar. Twelve pots of water, twelve barrels of water had drenched the whole oh, altar with the sacrifice. Yeah. Fire came down from heaven. He and the other prophets killed the prophets of Baal that was in oh Baal. Oh Baal, they cried out. And he said, call him a little louder. Maybe Baal's on vacation. He may be over in the Caribbean. Tell him to come on back. Y'all need him. He said, oh, Baal. He said, he, may, he, he might be asleep. Somebody need to go and tell Siri to wake him up. Oh, Baal. <laughs> and then nothing happened. And he just got up and said, the father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and fire came down and consumed that whole altar. But he heard. That Jezebel was on her way. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Here comes Jezebel. She's on her way. And Elijah just saw fire. Come down from heaven. Licked up everything, including the 12 barrels of water. But he heard, Here comes Sister Jezebel. Jezebel is on her way. And the Bible said that Elijah ran the horses. He got two legs, they got four legs, and he was out running them, and then he got frustrated and went here in the cave and then told God, ain't nobody saved but me. 
<laughs> Sometimes you get in a position and the situation and you look and ain't nobody working with you, ain't nobody helping you, ain't nobody trying to follow what you say, do it, and you try to look and you want to tell God ain't nobody working in the church but me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Elijah. Oh, Elijah, let me holler at you. I got 7,000 that I've hid that have not bowed to Baal and they ain't kissed his image. So don't ever think that you're by yourself. And Michael Jackson said it like this, you are not alone. <laughs> Jeremiah as I close, <laughs> preach for 40 years. Yeah. 40 years mm. and Amen. didn't nobody get saved. Mm. Wow. 40 years. Wow. A generation mm. never got saved. Wow. And he told God, mm. and some of y'all have done the same thing. Amen. Amen. Because I know I've done it. You know what? I ain't going back to church. Yeah. I ain't going to sing. Yeah. I ain't going to cook. Yeah. I ain't going to usher. Yeah. I ain't even going to sit in the pews. All right, all right. Because you put me in a place with some folk that don't love you like I do. Yeah, yeah. While he was sitting there thinking how good God has been to him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. How God had brought him through. Yes, Lord. Had God had delivered him from his enemies. Yes, Father. He said, I sat there, but I couldn't sit no more. Amen. Amen. Because it was like fire. Yes. Shut up in my bones. Yes. And if you've ever had one of them situations where you sit there and I, on a Sunday morning and you cross your legs and you say, I'm going to look at TV. Ain't nothing on TV worth watching. All right. Amen. Ain't nothing on TV that you care to look at. It, it, it's either no runs or a bunch of reruns. <laughs> and you go through and you click yeah. and you click and then you turn and you look at the clock hmm. on the wall and look at your watch and yeah. you say, you know what? I still got time. Yeah. To get to the house of the Lord. All right, all right, all right. Don't let frustration yes. stop you from your service. All right, yes. that's right. Yes. Anybody could have been frustrated, it could have been old man Joe. Yes. yes, indeed. What did he do to deserve what he got? He served, he feared, and he worshiped. Amen. Yes. He served, he feared God, and he worshiped. Yes, Lord. And yet he said, the thing that I fear the most has come upon me. Mm -hmm. The thing that I knew that it couldn't always be good. There had to be something else coming around the corner. Have you ever been in that kind of position where it looked like God just blessing Amen. and blessing and blessing and blessing and you looking around and saying, you know, uh, I, I know I've been praying for this, but yeah. I don't know if I deserve all that this is coming. And, and yeah. I mean, it's pressed down, shaking together, running over. My cup yeah. is running over and I'm trying to look and, and, and figure out what, 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 yeah. that's some of the repayment for the pain that you've gone through. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. God is blessing you and letting you know I'm still here. And then Job said this. Right. Naked, I came into this world. Yes, yes. And naked, I shall return. Yes. But all the days yes. of my appointed time, yes, Lord. I'm going to wait Till my change comes. Yes. And the good news of the gospel is when everything was done in Job's life, he got double for his trouble. Amen. Amen. All right, all right. Somebody
standing here waiting on the devil this morning? Out of all that you've been through, are you not waiting for God? Like, okay, I'm waiting for my double. I don't know where it's coming from, but I'm going to wait on it. I'm waiting on that double. I know you promised me, and your promises are yay and amen. And I'm going to wait right here with tear-stained eyes. I'm going to wait right here with a broken heart. I'm going to wait right here when friends have forsaken me. I'm going to wait right here because i got double. And say, I'm waiting on my double. I'm through. I just wanted to talk to you about how you're not the only one that has gone through frustration. Some of the very ones that I mentioned, we look and esteem as such great and wonderful. They had trouble just like you and I. They got frustrated like you and I, but what they did not do is they did not quit. For a winner never quits, and a quitter never wins. God bless you. God keep you on today. There's my brothers. They told me they was coming this morning. They told me they was coming this morning. They were sitting there yesterday on the steps, and they said it was going to be here. Now, you're a little late, but I'm glad Better late than never. Amen. 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 Somebody here does not know the Lord and the pardon of your sins, and you have been frustrated. Yeah. Cast down, looked down upon, but God, while He was looking, that they were looking down, you were looking up. And that's what yeah. David said, I will look into the hills. Yeah. Yeah. Which cometh my help, my help coming from the Lord that made heaven and earth and no matter how low you are he is able to get down where you are and lift you up i don't know about you that he he, he goes to the gutter most and then takes you to the uttermost Amen. Amen. everybody thinks that they they start out at the penthouse sometimes you got to start now and you sit down sit up here like y'all Ain't nothing ever bothered you. Ain't nothing ever had you. Ain't nothing you had to go through. Maybe I had to go through some stuff, some fire and some rain. Sickness and some pain. I had to lose some stuff. I had to lose some stuff. Lost a whole lot of stuff. But one thing I didn't lose. If I, didn't, if I lost everything, I'm so glad that he didn't take my mind.
taken away, blessed be the, and I kept on going. And we went on to church. And I praise God. They was, and they still looking at me when I'm praising God. And I'm like, you know what? Either either we go do this or I'm going to do this. Y'all can go on back to California. Yeah. But while we in London, England, I can't worry about that rain. It's gone. Yeah. They broke into my house. Yeah. I had a, a bracelet that had been around the world with me. Yeah. With my initials and diamonds. Yeah. And I had several other rings. They stole that. Yeah. And I'm breaking in the house. Yeah, amen. And he said, what, the, what, what you gonna do? Well, I mean, they got it. What you gonna do, go to every pawn shop in Los Angeles looking to see if they turn it in? Yeah. Some stuff you gotta learn how to let go. Yeah. Man, your Mercedes is gone, so. They, 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 they made one, they didn't stop making them, did they? they, 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 they was that the last one that they made? That's right, all right. Things come and they will go. You got to learn how when that season comes, L I G, let it go. There are relationships that have come and they have gone. Uh oh, that's a touchy subject there. <laughs> But there are some relationships that have come and they have gone. And sometimes when you look back and they're gone, you're better off seeing them go than they were coming. And you ought to be able to really praise God because you ain't got that weight on your shoulder. into it, but it is God making us. Yes. Yes. It is God still formulating. It's God taking some stuff out of us to get ready for what he's going to give to us. Yes. Don't be frustrated. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Don't be frustrated. Don't be frustrated. It's, just it's just God getting the best out of you. Yes. God bless you today. God keep you. Yes. Yes.